the gang's assembled and are in position to help you get up to that vault. For the rest of the operation, you are the ball. Roger, Bentley. I'm starting my approach. Getting over these fortress walls shouldn't be a problem. Look, we're running five by five here. Make sure everyone's in sync. I hear that. Artillery, sure you can make that shot? I endeavor not to miss. Excellent. Radio control. In position. Recovery team. Our pump. Submersibles. Showtime, baby. Telekinetics. I gotta die. All right, it's the crime of the century and the ball's in motion. door via Agent Monarch. Over. Launching. Stand clear. I've got visual confirmation on the door. Nice shooting. Be advised, Ball is nearing the lab. Agent Team 6, you ready? Spear gun loaded. Agent Team 6, deploy! First is down. I'm reading both force fields down. Strong work, Team 6. Every time. How's your wife doing, Richards? Oh, very well, Dr. M. Thank you for asking. Very thoughtful. Mm -hmm. Man, your son, uh, what's his name, Mike? Mark, sir. He, he's well, too, yeah? Mm -hmm. Shame you won't be seen again. Ah, uh, sir? I'm afraid I poisoned your drink at lunch. Sorry, Richards, but I don't tolerate poor performance. You should have changed the security code from one to three after you installed the new system. I'll improve, I swear. No, you'll die. Can you send it now? Oh. 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 Yes, water leaking into the lab. I'm on my way down. Oh, and get a janitor for the lab elevator. Richard's got sloppy. Oh. The Cooper Vault is just across these wires. I'm en route to your position for the loot hall. Over. Keeper of the cane. Oh, how I long for this. This vault belongs to the Cooper family. 
You're trespassing. No, my naive boy, you're trespassing. I've got the deed to this island. This fortress is mine. Everything here is mine. Which now goes the key to the vault. Hand over the king. Sorry, pal. Family heirloom. Buy a knockoff at the gift shop. Quick, let's regroup with the others. Follow me. I can't jump for it! Come on! This place is flooding! We don't have much time! The tunnel's gonna go! Hurry! We're almost home free! The boat's just up ahead! There's no escape, Koopa! wants to eat, eat this! It was like they always say, your life really does flash before your eyes. There it all was, stretching back to my childhood. Born into a family of master thieves that went back for generations, I was next in line to continue the Cooper name. But fate had different plans. I was robbed of my childhood when a ruthless gang attacked our home. The orphanage I landed in wasn't all bad. It was there that I met my lifelong friends. Bentley, he's always been the thinker. And Murray, he's the doer. We'd stuck together over the years, and our skill, our confidence, and our thieving reputation grew stronger with each heist. We thought that the good times would never end, and that our luck would never run out. Which only made things tougher when the odds finally caught up with us. Then I met this guy, McSweeney, who claimed to have run with my father's crew back in their heyday. They pulled jobs all over the world and amassed quite a collection of priceless items. It was then that McSweeney told me all about the Cooper Vault. It seemed that my father, like all my ancestors, had been hiding their wealth in a secret place for generations, each one adding to the treasure hidden behind a door that if McSweeney's story is true, only a Cooper can open. Using some well-placed clues provided by McSweeney, we set out for the secret island that held the vault. On arriving, we discovered someone by the name of Dr. M had already set up shop. From the looks of it, he'd been trying to crack the thing for years, growing steadily more frustrated in his failures and more paranoid as the decades rolled by. He built himself a fortress with security as tight as Fort Knox. Getting inside the place would take precision, creativity, and moreover, it would take an army of world-class thieves. Finding and bringing together that much talent won't be easy, but to get inside the Cooper vault and collect my inheritance, I was willing to pay the price.
If we're gonna make it to the Cooper Vault, we'll need to perfect our thieving skills. I've rigged this place to push us to our limits. I'm guessing these levers start the different trainers. That's right. Each will initiate a streamlined crash course in grand larceny. I'll head for the control room, and we'll get things started. Dish it out. I'm ready. Okay, all great thieves have one thing in common. A ton of cash? No, they never get lost. Use the right analog stick to look around the hazard room. Try to find the Cooper gag marker I'm projecting. Great. Now press down on the L3 button to ping a waypoint. That's handy. I agree. These holographic markers are an invaluable tool for finding your way around in the field. Notice how the logo moves to the destination? Try clicking the L3 button a few more times to get the hang of it. Okay, head for the waypoint and we'll commence fate. I've programmed in a new mission destination. Press L3 to find perfect. Now everyone knows that a thief's best friend is a rooftop. Provided he doesn't break his neck getting up there. Not a problem for a man with your jumping skills. Hit the X button for a standard jump. Then hit the X button a second time while in the air for an extra high double jump. All right, Bentley. What's next? As you know, it's very useful to survey guards from the rooftops. To do that, we'll have to be able to look down at them. Let me guess. Use the right analog stick? Yep. Try to find the marker I'm projecting down there. Excellent. Now look up at that pillar. I'm projecting another marker. Great. Now put all these skills to use and get to the remaining waypoints. Should be easy if you ping them with the L3 button and look around. Nice, one down. Good job, Sly. You made it. You're now ready to take on the meanest of navigation tasks. Turner that book. Let's see if you remember them all. Check out those small points on that wire. You can land on them light as a feather using your ninja fire jump. Easy. I just jump and hit the circle button. Exactly. Try getting over to the other platform. Looking good, Sly. You know how I love the second story work. Sure, but how do you about tight spaces. Try getting through the small opening in that wall. Hit the circle button when you're close to crawl inside. Nice job, Sly. You're a credit to the Cooper name. Getting inside a world-class vault would take a team of world-class thieves, a group of specialists, each member contributing their own particular talent. It was clear that we needed Murray back. Not only was I missing a lifelong friend, but his brute strength helped get us out of more than a few scrapes in the past. When Bentley was injured during the whole clockwork affair, Murray blamed himself, eventually leaving the team. We tried to console him, but going out on his own was something he needed to do. He said he wanted to find his spiritual center. We got word that Murray ended up in the Australian outback, where he studied a mystic art called the Dreamtime from an aboriginal guru. 
From all accounts, things went pretty well, and his teacher even sent him on a walkabout to locations all over the globe to complete the training. Latest reports have cited Murray in beautiful Venice, Italy, but what he's doing there is a mystery. I just hope he steers clear of the local mob boss, Octavio. Growing up, this guy used to be a real celebrity in the neighborhood. Everyone loved to hear him sing opera and said he was destined to be the next great tenor. But just as his career started to take off, musical tastes changed. Suddenly, it was all about rock music, and no one wanted to listen to opera anymore. He held on to a few fans, and it was these mobsters that took him into the business. Heading onto this guy's turf was dangerous, but worth it for a chance to make things right with Murray. It seems logical to start our search at the local police station. If he's not already in custody, that mass of dope marks the Venetian police station. Cops around here really like to make an impression. I'm afraid it's a losing battle. Don Octavio runs the show in this neighborhood. It's his security forces patrolling the streets, not the cops. Noted. Huh. Looks like I found my way inside. Well, that dome is covered in glazed tile. There's no way to climb up there. Oh, come on, pal. There's always a way. Nice climbing, partner. I've got the blueprints to the vent system in front of me. I should be able to guide you to the jail cell. Hey, Murray? Is that you? Murray, that name's a stain on my pants, bro. What? Cooper, you got some fuzzy dice to come around here. Dimitri, long time no punch. See you're still in jail. And you're still a cracker box. Let's get past the name calling and get to business. Looking for main man Murray, eh? Sorry, but I'd rather see you get busted big time! God! Polita! Wait! If those cops get their mitts on me, who's gonna break you out of jail? You might get this cell door open, but the cops will throw down and bust me on the way out, and then I'll get the double sentence! <laughs> Leave. How about I get the cops' attention, then run for it? Once they're all outside shooting at me, you can slip out no problem. No, that's a plan I can get behind. Dimitri is free, and Cooper is cooked. Key for sale is in head cop lady's office. Okay, great. This other lock won't be a problem. I should be able to crack it by hand. Get me out of here, and I'll find Murray. No sweat. Just keep on the down low and out of sight near them coppers, bro. They're a bad bunch of bunnies. Your attention, police. I thank you for your patience, but we're now ready for the presentation. As we all know, the canals of Venice have been mysteriously filling with tar for the last month. 
No one is sure of the cause, but the effects have been devastating on the local wildlife and tourists. Potentially... Nice work. Head back to Dimitri's cell and free him. If he's true to his word, we'll be talking to Murray in no time. Let's get back to business. Now, where was I? Hold tight, boys. The power's on the fritz again. It'll calm down in a few minutes. Better make sure you're under a desk when the lights come back on. You look a lot better in the dark, Petro. Really, you are an ugly, ugly man. <laughs> oh, jeez. Make up your mind already. Can you really crack this coconut? Sure, just takes a light touch. Cool. Let's see some shine, bro. I swear, you spring me, and I'll hook you up with that plump dog, Murray. Dig? This safe will be tough to crack, but I've seen you open harder locks. Slowly... I'll do like I promised, and distract the cops so you can make your escape. Solid. Don't worry, no mind. Straightway I'll password for Murray to find you. Meet at Rialto Bridge. Big Italian landmark. Okay. Guess it's showtime. Hello, assorted meatheads. And lady. Anyone feel like some exercise? Cooper? Grab him, then! And I'm out. You've got some serious nerve showing up in my squad room. I was concerned we were growing apart. Then let's spend some quality time together in my interrogation cell. So forward. What happened to the demure girl I used to know? She grew up and stopped taking grief from guys like you. Guys like me? Are you saying I've got some competition for your affections? You're the only man in my sights right now. That manual works both ways. That's right. Hide in the sewers like the rat you are. Thanks for the quick escape. I owe you one. Again. Of course, Searcher. We are all in need of peace. You're really whole hog on this Dreamtime stuff, huh? My mind is clear. Like the woodland after a forest fire. Listen, Murray. We need you back on the team. That thing with Bentley, it wasn't your fault. He doesn't blame you for the wheelchair. Sorry, Sly. I walk a different path. My guru, in his wisdom, told me to lose myself and not return until the black water ran pure. So here I stay. You sure he didn't tell you to get lost and not come back until you cleaned out the water filter? Come on! I'm on a real spirit quest here! Sorry. Sorry. Tell me everything. I've missed you, pal. Well... It's a long and awesome story. You got any gum? Murray refuses to join.
joined the gang to tell the commitment to his guru has been fulfilled. Whether we like it or not, we've got to deal with Venice's tar problems in order to, as Murray puts it, make the black water run pure. Thanks to Inspector Fox's fine detective work, we already know that Don Octavio is somehow connected as non-law operatives will be able to tackle the situation in a more head-on fashion. First, we break into Octavio's Opera House. If he's hiding anything, we'll find him. We should also keep a close eye on the dog. Some photographic evidence of him connected to the tar might be enough to get the old mobster put away. Of course, meanwhile, I'll monitor local communication frequencies. With some luck, we might pick up some quality intel. 